Okay, so this is our second tutorial video. We're going to do something with circles. So if we open, as we did before, a part, a solid, and we're going to call this circle1. No spaces. If you did want to put an underscore there, you can. We're not going to use the default template because it's imperial. And we're going to choose millimeters, newtons, seconds, on part. And click OK. Gets us back to our familiar view with our top, our right axis, and our front axis. And the first thing we're going to do here is draw a sketch on the top axis. And we're going to draw sketch a circle. And this circle is going to be 300 millimeters across. And once we're happy with that, click. once we've got the sketch highlighted, either in both here green and here as a pale blue, we can click extrude as we have before, and we're going to extrude this up 150 millimeters. And accept it. Now what we're going to do is to remove some material from the inside. Now we could show this out as we did in video one, but this time we're going to remove some material and we may need to add some features with the remove. So it's best to use this feature called revolve. Now the way we do this is first of all to draw a sketch and the sketch is going to be on if we press control D so back to the view we all know on the front plane so don't choose the top or anything like that wait for that front plane to go green click press sketch and you'll see there that the front axis here we've got crosshair on it so we can sketch so to get the, a better view, I'm going to go to the front view. So across there's there. And I'm going to put a rectangle, but this time a corner rectangle. It's going to start here in the middle. I can draw any size I want and now I'm going to modify the dimensions of this. Now you'll note here that it only gives us one dimension and L1 and L1 are both here. That means that when I drew this Creo thought that I wanted to draw a square and, kept, and linked these two dimensions together. So you'll see here if I move this to 130 they both move together and keep square. Now actually I don't want this, I want it to be slightly lower than it is wide so I need to separate these two dimensions the way I do that is to tell it I want a measurement using this normal command so I click normal I click this line and then I middle click here At this point it's giving us a warning because it's saying Creo assumes that these are linked you can't change this and this at the same time because there'll be a conflict and the conflict is this equal length and we want to remove that so click on constraint equal length if you have got yours equal and press delete it will now allow us to change this independently of each other so I want this to actually be 120 a bit smaller here and this to be 140, a bit wider. Um, so this is one other advantage. If we were shelling this out, it would have to be equal all round. So the top would be the same thickness as the the outsides. There are some more advantages to using revolve over shell, and we're going to come to those in a moment. So click OK, and now we've just got 
a box drawn somewhere in the circular cylindrical entity. If we use the revolve command, making sure we've got sketch 2 selected, we can revolve that around this axis here in the middle. See the green dotted line? Click on that. Now it's revolved that round. But you can't, well, you can see something there. It has actually removed it. If we wanted it to revolve and put material in, we'd click this toggle command here to add material or take it away. And we don't have to add it all the way around. We could just remove a quarter or three quarters or three full 360, which we're going to do. Once we're happy with that, click OK. Now, as always with um, Creo, we can change things after we've done them and it will push those changes forward throughout the model. For example, this sketch we did here of that square that we revolved round, we can now make a modification to that. So I right click on sketch 2, click to edit the definition, and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab my rectangle again and somewhere here, it doesn't matter where on the line, click here and click it there. Now we can look at the dimensions. I actually want it to be 20 mil by 25. and then I'm going to get rid of this part of the line here and I use this tool here, delete segment it's very similar to trim in AutoCAD so I click that, now I can click lines or I can draw a line through a line I want to get rid of which is quite useful so once it's like that if we click select you notice it goes to this pale yellow colour that means it's a complete entity and Creo is happy with it. Click OK. Doesn't look like it's done much there, but if we pan, we go to Control D to get that view, and then pan underneath, we can see it's put that that ridge in there. It's imitated the shape of the sketch and put that rib inside. OK. Now what we're going to do is put some holes through the top. So we go to sketch. We're going to sketch on this top face. Click. We're also going to reference, that's that button there, this outside, so outside of the surface. So anywhere on the outside surface where it's ex surface extrude, click there. You see it's drawn that blue dotted line all the way around. Close that. Uh, the reason for that you'll see in a moment. And I'm going to put a circle here. And now I'm going to look at the dimensions of that circle. I want that to be a 25 millimeter hole. So, I'm going to change this dimension to 120mm. So let's go a little bit further, 125. And once we're happy with that, click OK and then extrude. Now we don't want to extrude it, we want to extrude down as a whole and all the way through. Now rather than put it all the way through we can click through and that will go through everything and we can see there. Uh, actually it's took a chunk out there. We'll correct that later because we maybe want the circles in a bit so it misses this rib on the inside. But we can deal with that later. So next step is to make many of these circles all the way around the edge. So click OK because we're happy with the circle, the hole and now we want to put lots of them so we're going to pattern an axial pattern so axis 
and now you know don't, don't worry your circle's not disappeared it's still there um, Creo is looking for the point where you want to revolve this around it's here in the center where it goes green dotted line click and it's assumed first of all that you want four points we actually want oops we're gonna go with 12 circles now 360 divided by 12 is 30 degrees apart it's there 30 degrees apart click OK and it's put our 30 circles in now unfortunately they hit 30 times sorry 12 times that rib so we want to actually move those in a bit so let's move them so go back to our sketch 3 edit the definition and let's move it back to 115 and OK look underneath still catching so sketch edit that definition let's go and move it back to 105 and that's missed all the bit so happy with that now next job is to put a fillet on this upper surface here in Creo it doesn't call it a fillet, it calls it a round so click round click that surface it's chose half a mil at the minute, we want it bigger than that though I think we're going to go somewhere in the region of 10 in fact maybe even 15 there we are, click OK once you're happy now it could be that actually I don't need a couple of these holes I can go back into my pattern right click edit definition and where they're black if I just click on them they'll no longer appear so they're now missing and the final thing I want to do is to put a hole all the way through the side So let's go to Control D for a default view and I'm going to put it all the way through there so I'm going to go sketch on this front plane and I'm going to draw a circle somewhere there, let's look at it from the front there's my circle I want it to go all the way through look at the dimensions so 65mm up from the bottom and 90 I want it so nice and big OK as you can see that circle is sitting there in free space in the middle but if we extrude it it's going to add material but it only adds it to one side up here we can change that to add it to both sides now as we expand it out using the block it comes out both ways through the material but actually I said we want to put a hole there not more material so we use the button to toggle between remove and add material click that and material gets removed once you're happy with that click OK as you see there it's removed that material out